Because it's the actual largest country by population in the continent of Africa, Nigeria is also home to about 250 ethnic groups. This can only mean one thing. Lots of people, lots of cultures, and more dishes than you can ever shake a stick at. We're going to start with seven today. So, here are the seven traditional Nigeria dishes you must try. Let's dive right into it, shall we? Number seven, Egusi soup. We're going to start this video off with one of the most popular dishes in Nigeria. Egusi soup is a thick stew that has a powdered or raw igusi inside. The first thing that chefs do is they soak the powdered igusi in some water. Then, while the igusi is soaking, they cook some onions and garlic in a hefty amount of palm oil, and they add the meat, usually beef, inside. After the meat has been browned, they add the tomato pepper paste inside. They cook until everything is well combined, and then they add the igusi. While the stew is cooking in the pot, they chop up some spinach and add it to the pot. The igusi soup is usually served with a portion of gari. You know what? Now that we've mentioned it... Number 6. Gari This is the side dish that's usually served with the igusi soup, and it's made from gari powder. What's gari, you ask, though? Well, to put it simply, powdered gari is derived from the roots of the cassava plant. The way to prepare gari is to place the powder in a bowl and pour over some hot water. The powder will soak up the water, and now you can begin to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but no, you'll actually start adding in a bit more water to make the gari to your liking. Once you're happy with the consistency, you can then form it into a bowl and serve it as a side dish to many soups and sauces. Number five, suya. This is basically a beef kebab that's made with whole chunks of beef. The way to prepare it is simple and oh, so finger licking good. You get some lean beef and you cut it as thin as possible. You then cup it into bite-sized pieces and coat it with oil. This will act as the glue for when you roll the meat in the suya seasoning. Once thoroughly coated, you will then place them on a grill or in the oven and you'll cook them until tender. This is basically it. <laughs> we told you it's simple. Number four, akara. This is the part where we talk about the Nigerian donuts. But instead of flour, the akara is made with white beans, which have been soaked for at least overnight and peeled. They're then processed with a food processor until they form a paste of sorts. You then mix the fine paste with another paste made from onions and peppers. After seasoning to taste, you deep fry them, and voila! Fluffy, golden, soft, and delicious akara. Number three, pounded yam. The name pretty much says it all here. You take a yam, you pound it, and then you get a pounded yam. Now, if we're going to get technical, you'll first need to peel, chop up, and boil your yam in some water until it becomes soft. These chunks of yam are then transferred to a pestle and mortar, and you'll pound them until a sticky dough forms. Repeat the process with the remainder of your yams, and that's it, pounded yams. Number two, pepper soup. To make the pepper soup, the first thing you'll need is a blend of meats. The blend of meats consists primarily of beef, goat, and tripe, while some people even like to add kidneys, liver, and ponmo to the mix. Everything is fried off with some chopped onions and a stock cube. After cooking over a low heat with a closed lid, you'll add in some water and pour in the spices. The most common include cayenne pepper, black pepper, crayfish powder, and of course, pepper soup spice. Cook until the spices are absorbed into the meat, taste for seasoning, and you're ready to serve. Number one, jollof rice. They call it party rice because it makes you want to dance when you try it. The way you make it is pretty simple and straightforward. You will blend some peppers, onions, and tomatoes, and then fry them until all the water evaporates. In a separate bowl, you will fry some onions and tomato paste, and then you'll add in the tomato pepper mix. Once it's fried off, you'll add thyme, curry, garlic powder, and bay leaves. Cook for a minute or two, and then add the chicken stock and the washed rice. Add water to cover the surface, cover with a lid, and cook on a low heat for 25 minutes. What you'll get is the fluffiest rice in the world. On a related note, we wanted to know if you've ever tried any of these Nigerian dishes before. You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.